Today we're going to be demonstrating a lumbar x-ray. The routine views for a lumbar are AP, lateral, and a spot film. Uh, there will be a few additional films that we'll show you later, uh, an oblique and uh, a couple other things. So today we're going to start with the, uh, the AP lumbar. The patient will be laying supine on the table. Our film size will be 11 by 14 lengthwise. Uh, also for the lateral will be 11 by 14 and when we do the spot film it will change to a 10 by 12 lengthwise. So we're going to put the shield across the patient. If you would, I'm going to have you bend your knees for me. And we have the patient to actually uh, bend the knees. Uh, it helps to straighten the spine and actually helps to open up the disc spaces a little bit for us. You have to be very careful with the legs bent because you don't want the shield to actually go down and obstruct uh, the spine. So we need to take and be very careful and conscious that the, the shielding is going to be uh, not in the area of, of interest there. Okay, so patient again is supine. We're going to center with palpating the crest. We're going to go about one and a half inches above the crest. And the centering will be to the MSP. And I like to go to the top of the table and look down the patient, just verifying that I am in the center. Now, collimation will be to the IR borders up and down, and side to side will be about four to five inches wide. We have plenty of room here for our marker placement in one of the corners of the film there. Our technical factors for the AP will be uh, 77 to 81 center cell automatic exposure control and just uh, we'll do uh, our exposure will be on suspended respirations and this is our AP lumbar x-ray. Now we're going to have the patient to roll onto their left side. We do want to make sure that we get the patient straight. We're going to move our hips a little bit. Your shoulders back. Okay, just verifying that I do have her nice and straight. We want to go ahead and again shield here uh, anteriorly. We actually want to use a lead blocker. We're going to put that behind the back here. What that will do will help uh, reduce the amount of scatter radiation and it will actually reduce uh, the film being more gray. So we're going to take and, and we'll flip that around there. Okay, we do want to take and put, because of the curvature of the spine, as you look at the spine, it sort of curves down into the bottom here to the sacrum. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a sponge, if you'll raise up for me, underneath the patient. And what that does is that will actually helps to straighten the spine here for us now. Okay, so now our centering is going to be, uh, it's going to be palpating the crest again. We're going to go about one and a half inches up. And then centering side to side, I'm going to palpate uh, both uh, posterior and anterior, go to the, find the MSP, or MCP, I'm sorry, and then go to the center of that point. And that will be our centering for the lumbar. Okay? Now, our collimation is going to again be to the IR borders up and down, and then we just want to make sure that we do have a little bit to the posterior part of the back. And then marker placement, we can put it in the front, either corner, high or low, on the patient here. The film size is going to remain the same. It's 11 by 14. The, uh, the technical factors will be 81 to 85 kV center cell automatic exposure control. Yeah. And we want to make sure that the patient is laying on their left side, so we are using the left marker. I know it's on her right side, but we're indicating that we're x-raying the left side. Okay, this is our lateral lumbar. Now, we could do on our when we you know, change the film out here. We could leave the sponge under and centering for our uh, spot here. But I want to do. I do want to show you because sometimes in the real world applications, and we'll take this out for just a second. Uh, the sponges aren't always available. So if if you're doing this and the sponges aren't available, we can angle about five to eight degrees caudal. And then make sure you recenter to your film. Very important. Make sure you're still center locked. Okay. Still, still use the lead blocker. And then there's going to be several ways that you can actually do the spot film. And what I mean by that is people have different ways they figure out where I'm going to tell you the centering, and then you, you sort of you'll, you'll sort of get it as I'm doing it. You're going to palpate the as is on the patient. 
you're going to come back about two inches and then from that point go down about one and a half inches okay and that should be approximately your centering point now what I like to do is I put my one two three fingers here like this I spread then my uh, pointing finger out or second digit and then the centering point will be on my fingernail and you can see that when I did that that ended up being on my fingernail so some people can do it this way other people will actually take and put one finger like this and sort of make an L do this and then the center of that is where you center and that will be the same point whichever way is easier for you uh, that's how you do it okay now collimation for this is going to be tight it's going to be about a 4x4 four four. marker placement you can actually put it in a corner or you can actually put it on the film by pulling across centering to your film put your marker there and then recenter center lock and it'll be it'll be on the film either way is is going to be fine what you're looking for on the spot film is the L5 S1 junction that's what we're interested in uh, as far as technical factors, it goes, does go up a little bit. It's going to be 85 to 90 kV center cell uh, automatic exposure control. Now this is our uh, lumbar x-rays. 